Let me show you our improved exit analysis in Edgewonk and how you can gain completely new insights for your trading. So first of all, when you go to your journal and when you enter a trade, you have your regular input fields such as stop loss and take profit. You can see in this case, we have a buy trade where we entered at 200. Our stop loss is at 175. Our take profit is at 250 and our exit price is at 250, which corresponds to our take profit. Then under advanced trade data, we have two fields for highest and the lowest price. Those are generally the highest and the lowest price values that you have observed during the duration of the trade. I will show you in a moment how you could use it in another way, but let's stick to the default approach first. So the highest price that we've observed is 250, which corresponds to our exit price and also to take profit, which makes sense. The lowest price is 195, which is just barely below our entry and not too close to our stop loss. So now we can go to our exit analysis graph under chart lab. You find it here under exit analysis. And this is the trade and we are visualizing the trade here in different ways. First of all, we have the green area, which is called the updraw. And this measures how close has the price come towards your take profit. And you can see this is the take profit line at 100%. And you can see the updraw is at 100%, which means that the price during the duration of the trade moved 100% in your favor, which makes sense since it's moved into your take profit. The drawdown, the red area, measures how close has the price come towards your stop loss. In this case, the drawdown is minus 20%. You can see if the red bar would have been here at minus 100, it would mean that the price hit your stop loss during the duration of the trade. But in this case, we can see the price just barely moved against us. Then we have the black marker. This shows you the exit of the trade. And you can see the exit is at 100%, which means that the exit is right at the take profit and also at the higher of the highest price. So over time, if you have entered many trades using the highest and the lowest price, stop loss and take profit, you will get a good understanding of your trading performance and also the price performance of your trades. If you see, for example, that the updraw is not able to come close to your take profit on average, it could mean that your take profit is maybe set a little bit too far. And that could help you improve your take profit to realize more winning trades by just playing around with your take profit approach. If, for example, you would see that the black marker is somewhere different, so we can go back to our journal, we open the trade, and let's assume our entry price is not at the take profit, but slightly lower at 225. We save that, we go back to our exit analysis, and now the black marker, when it updates, will be lower and you can see it's only at 50%, which means that your exit is much lower than your take profit, but also much lower than the highest observed price. So at that point, it seems like you made a mistake by closing the trade a little bit too early and you're not realizing the full potential of the trade. If you see that repeatedly, it can also show you flaws in your trade management. And on the other hand, if you see that on average, your take profit would have been hit by the highest price, it could give you more confidence in staying in winning trades longer. So that's also a good way of using this. By the way, if you have questions about a trade, you can just hover over here at the bar and you can see when in the pop-up it shows trade and then the number of the trade. You could enter the trade ID here at the top and then in the journal, you will be able to see exactly that trade. If, on the other hand, you will see that on average your drawdown is very small and very low, it doesn't even come close to the stop loss, it means that your stop loss might be set a little bit too far away and you're too conservative with the stop loss. This means that by using a slightly smaller and tighter stop loss, you could potentially improve your reward to risk ratio because if you have a smaller stop loss or a closer stop loss, but keep the target the same, your reward to risk ratio will improve and you can gain very important insights into your trading. Let me show you a different approach that some traders are choosing. We can go back to our journal and we reopen the trade. Under advanced trade data for the highest and lowest price, you could choose to enter the highest and the lowest price a slightly different way. So instead of marking the highest price and the lowest price during the duration of the trade, you could wait and follow the price after you have closed your trade. For example, if you're a day trader, you could wait until the end of the day and then note the highest price that you could observe during the end of the day. If you're a swing trader, for example, you could note the highest price at the end of the week or at the end of the month. However, the most important thing is that you keep it consistent, that you always use the same approach for how you analyze and note the highest and the lowest price. So now what happens if we change the highest price to, let's say 275, which is above our exit price and above our take profit. This means that 
After we have closed the trade, the price would have kept going in our favor and moved further into profits, but we didn't capitalize on it. So let's save the trade. Then we go back to our chart lab. We go back to exit analysis. And now you can see that what happens is that the updraw is much higher. The updraw is at 150%, which means that the price overshot your take profit, but you can still see the exit the black marker is at the same area because we exited the trade at the same price at our target at 250 at 100%. So if you follow this approach and what you see is that the updraw generally is above your take profit, it could mean that you could extend your take profit and that maybe currently you're a little bit too conservative with your target. And by extending your take profit, you could potentially realize bigger winning trades. And those are very, very important insights that will help you improve your trading, your trade expression with the exit analysis tool in Edgewonk.